So let me share it first. Okay, sir, can you see this screen? Yes, sir, yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, so basically, this is a fructose playground. In the last class, we have basically discussed about what is a fructose. But uh, in the playground, actually, you have not seen the playground. In this playground, this is basically an online editor. You can see here, everything written there, playground fructose IOHK development.io. This is a playground where we have to actually write the code and execute it and run the applications here directly. So, Here now you can see here, uh, there is in the demo files is there, hello world is there. Just I'm specifying it that this is a hello world where a small programming with smart contract is written here. A small program is written here. So in this program, first is there, this is thing that import playground contract, import Bluetooth contract, import Bluetooth TSW payload. So now what happened? So we know that Kutos is also a basically a language, but we previously you have already discussed Haskell also. Haskell is also a language. This is the core language. But Kutos, where actually we have to design the application regarding the blockchain. And here, every thing we have to write it in a contract form. And Plutus is based on third generation language. So here we have to write it, everything based on contract. Here by default, the smart contract is written automatically. And here the code, whatever we are going to discuss, this is commonly, is a boiler point, means it is always common to all programming languages. If you write here or something, if you go to the testing also, some of the same programming there. If you go to the crowdfunding also, you will have the same logic is there. Same logic, same thing, same concept. Some minor changes are there, but will be just not affecting the entire logic. We should know that these are the basic parts we have to go to discuss. So here what is there? A small programming written here. Okay. Just so Prasuna sir, Prasuna sir, you are saying that the code structure is uh, almost same and the few logic logical changes there. Yes, yes, yes. This is the most important part because whatever thing that does, we have to always write a smart contract. In case of smart contract, smart contract is basically based on a programming here. Because in the, if we talk about the outside world, whenever you are doing any bidding or anything, what happens? A person is there, a, a government entity is there, who will start a bid and lots of people are trying to bid it. After that, you have to end the bid. So who is the highest bidder? He will get the project and the rest will be written the money. But the, the particular entire bidding process is done by a particular entity. But here, everything is written in a smart contract. There is no person, no entity is going to handle this one. It is only a program written it and everything will be handled by it automatically. So here, because in the previous classes we have discussed the option and the on-chain. So what you can see that whenever you are writing, any, everything is written in the on-chain. Okay, put the score part. But user part is written in the option. We have to write some of the program in the option part. But whenever you are trying to compile the application, it will be compiled and the application is loaded in the option to execute the application. This is the most important part of the programming material. So most of the programming, the codes are already similar type. 
So you have to just write the basic parts. Okay. What was he said? So, so Prasanna sir, if if you uh, uh, if we create a new file here, so uh, by default uh, these things will come, or we have to write this basic import. Yes, we have to write it because okay. I told you that every, these are the programs. Whenever we are writing the Java programming, what we are writing, we have to write the code. But whenever you are writing the code, what if you write for another logic, then again also you have to write a different concept. If you write another program, you have to write a different logic because some of the part is similar. Some import files are there, some files are there, but maximum codings are based on the logic. But what you can see that is, that is okay. The import part, I, I am telling about the import part. That is import data txt qualified as t, uh, import playground contract. This, this, these are common. Yes, these are the commons, and the coding also. Some of the coding also commons. Here, the most of the coding also are commons. Whenever you are going to uh, always do, you have to always go for a endpoint. Whenever you have to do any smart contract, we have to do write the smart contract. Whenever you have to perform that uh, reading mark or any date term or any context, these are the three important part of the program, programming. So this is fixed. Everything is fixed. Just we have to write what we need it. That part we have to write it. I mean, out of 100 of line coding, Maybe you can write only 10 lines of coding, or 15 lines of coding, or 30 lines of coding. Not that 100 lines of coding. But in Java, what you can see that you write only import files. You have to write it the basic parts. But out of 100 lines, you have to write it 70 to 60 to 70 lines of coding. This is the major difference between this and that. Okay. Okay. So here I'm just. Going to uh, give example. Now you can see here. Just I have to share one of the Ananda file is there, PDF file. So it will be better to give you understanding. Just wait a minute. Now the officer can see this? Yes. Now you can see Import. that. Yes. The code. The actually, that part I have written here, just I am explaining one by one. Okay. So that will be easy because this is the part, everything written in the PDF file. Okay. Okay. So before we discuss what is this, because whenever I'm going to run the application, here is the one is demo file is a hello world, which is by default written here. So actually what is the import files and what other things are there and what is the endpoint? How is working and what is this contract? Who is making the contract? Everything I'm just writing here, everything I'm defining here. Now you can see here. Here it is that import data.txt qualified as T. Now, what you can see that, what is the meaning of qualified as T? This means it's, 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 it's allies. allies. Okay. It's, it's allies. Okay, thank you. It's allies. Now, you can see here, import data text qualified as T. Now, what you can see here, the data text, materially, we know that these are the all the functions are there, so we are available, we have to access through this. So library is, this is a library which is used to convert string to text. Data text mainly used to convert a string to text. text. Okay. Whenever you are using this playground here, you can see that hello world is a string, okay? And we have to convert it to be a text. So this is the most important part. So first one is that data text is a library which is used to convert string to text. This is in case of Plutus, we have to write it. 
So that's why you have to import data text qualified as tree because whatever you told that T is the allies here in place of data text I have defined as a T. Okay. Now, so, my, so it means uh, anything uh, the in input we uh, put as a string, we have to convert in text for Pluto. Text. In case of Pluto, we have to convert a string to a text format so that it will get it will give us the output. Okay, this is the rule. Next, next is that what you can see here playground contract. Okay. So here what the playground contract, why we are importing the playground contract. The important part is that it is import the smart contract. Now see that smart contract that interfaces defined in the playground. Means whenever we are defining anything inside the playground, this is a playground. Okay, whenever you are going to write in the smart contract, we have to write the contract of a playground. Because playground is an interface which make a contract between the programming and the application and the playground so that it will execute the application. So that's why we have to always write that playground contract means it's smart contract interface defines in the playground. This is called playground. Is that clear? Yes, this yes. Playground. We have to, because this is the predefined, we don't have to think about all these things. We just you have to remember, but we should know what is the playground contract. Because that part I mean, it, it like, like it is like main method in Java. Yes, yes, yes. Main means is everything you have to write inside the main. Because without main it will not go there. It will execute, but after in a web browser or whatever thing, but in a normal console applications we are mostly using the main function where we have to write the program. Yes. Same way Luthor's contract, uh, the playground contract means what is this contract? Contract is a smart contract. You have to remember. If whenever you write a smart contract, it is interface defined in the playground. Whatever smart contract is defined inside the playground, it is that's why it is, we have to write it playground contract. Second is that another contract is defined in the writing. Luthor's contract. Luthor is the application, it's a programming language. What the Luthor's contract defines that? It's a library. Used to the Proto's code, code library, you know, got it. Yes, yes, perfect. Got it, got it. Because mm -hmm. in the past class, uh, in the past class, Proto's we have discussed about the diagram where it yes. is written that the Proto's core and the Proto's part is there. What Proto's uh, uh, core as well as the uh, that is on chain and the off chain is there. Off chain, yeah. Uh, uh, you are here with the past blockchain. I think this one will be the yes, this one. Okay. Do I see that? Can you see this yes. one? Yes, yes, yes. This is on chain is basically can we can see that. This is the basically diagram where we are going to write the code. What you can see that this is the Proto's foundation, this is the Proto's core. So here what can see that Proto's contract means the library used to define the contract with the Proto's core library. Whenever writing the contract, we have to write it for the Proto's core library. This is the TX size, transition size, and Proto's core, which is based on the on-chain. Now you can see here, here everything written on-chain, and off chain. Off chain, yes. On chain, where the score is written here, the ledger interface to Plutus, the Cardano ledger, and the Cardano node. Everything is in the on chain. It's a part of the run on the blockchain. But this part run out of the user's machine. Off chain That's is true. always in the user machine. And on chain is always on the blockchain. Okay? Yes. So yes. This is the part, and this part is defined here. I told you that. To the user, who is the user? User is communicating to the what? Up chain. So in two ways, either through the web or through the wallet. This is the wallet, this is the wallet. Through the wallet end, it is connecting okay, to the node, to the ledger. Or if you are using the web 
anyway, when you talk like you can use the, uh, the um, for example, uh, you are using the React developer, React, or any um, uh, uh, support. Any, for any, any application. Uh, any application, HTML programming language, or whatever thing is there, UI designing. So through that, you have to connect to this Plutus applicable background, where you have to, you can see that Plutus background is there, the interface. You have to give the authorized to the Plutus background. Who will give? The Plutus application will give it. Every this architecture is working here, and after that it will be loaded to the ledger because we have told that every time the ledger is created and every time the ledger is a immutable. So ledger means that will be created in the mainnet. So here the mainnet where the server where it will be executed, the server where it will be executed. Okay, either a testnet that is loaded in the local machine or a mainnet. To be connected to the on chat, I mean, on the online. So, this is the so both, 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 both way it will go uh, go and create an, a, a wallet. Yes, both will go, we have to create a wallet. Otherwise, we will not create the wallet, it cannot do any operation. Wow. The most important part is that we have to build it. Okay. So, second part is that, third part is that now, Plutus TX prelude. You can see that there is a two prelude that basically one is a prelude based on Plutus transaction size. One another Plutus prelude is there, which is based on the hash scale. In the hash scale prelude, we have already discussed in the hash scale part. Okay, everything we have to compile it. Okay, to run as a function. But Plutus transaction prelude, where the library replaces the normal hash scale prelude library. That means whatever the functions are available in the hash scale, okay, that Plutus will convert it, that will be placed by the library of the Plutus TX. This is the most important part. And prelude is qualified as a hash scale, means here the hash scale, qualified as a hash scale means this prelude is belongs to hash scale itself. But okay. I define qualified means this is, the, oh, we know that this is what? Qualified as a hash scale means what? Qualified as P means what? In allies, allies, allies. allies. Okay. So this is a defined as scale like ally. Or you can write it a prelude. Okay. So this is allies means this is a prelude belongs to who? To the Haskell. So that's why it's not in the Haskell. Qualified as Haskell. So it will be easy to remember. So now here you can see here Plutus TX transaction. Now you can see that Plutus TX, where is the it will be in the Protoss Foundation. Okay. okay. Now, whenever you are writing the Protoss TX compiler, here we have to write it in the option also. Okay. And it will go to the Protoss Core part. Here also you can see that every Protoss Core also is foundation where we have to write it here and it will go to the Protoss Core part. Everything is written in the Protoss Core part. So here what you can see that the Protoss TX preload command will replace the normal Haskell means whatever the Haskell programming library, we are going to write it inside the Plutus, it will be replaced by the Plutus will look like this. Company. Okay. And include functions are defined and easier to Plutus compiler to compile the which program? The Haskell preload. Yeah, there is a sir. Any doubt? Yes, yes. Yes, sir. No. No, sir. Okay. Okay, thank you. So now, so this is the basics part we have already discussed about the flow. Now, here what you can see that? Can you say, there is a, what is this sitting here? Hello is your what? Hello, hello is a function. Function, okay. Hello and is a function. And here what you can see that? The contract is that, means contract means the smart contract is defined here, that it is a empty schema. The schema is created that, the data text file will convert any string to a text file and write it to the log info. What is a log info? The log info is a built in function and it is where it will define the message to a console. Okay, this is the work of a log info. Remember that log info means it is a built in function. 
where the message means hello world, whatever the hello world I have written here, it is a string format, convert to a text format and transport to the hello info to the function called hello, which will print the message to a console. Just like in Java, we are writing the main programming, whenever writing any system dot output print LN, it will print the result to the console. Same way, this log info, everything will write it to a console. This is the most important part. This is a predefined function. We have to remember. Okay. So here, what you can see that the contract here, the function MP schema tells the compiler that you have to return nothing. Empty schema means what? Means the schema returns nothing. Nothing is the part we have already discussed in case of one R class. So what you can see that this text will return nothing. But whenever here we are defining a string type, then what happens? The prelude text. Haskell is a what? Haskell is a qualifier of a prelude. Means Haskell is a okay. Haskell itself have a string which convert to a text format and store into the hello function which will print to the console. This is the, this is the way you have to write the function. Now it's clear? Yes. Yeah. And most important part, most important part of the contract is that you have to always. Okay, okay. Prasunna uh, uh, sir. Uh, yes, just uh, uh, the uh, the first one is contract empty schema dot txt. Man, this is the basic uh, basic condition. Yes, and, yes, yes. Yes. and hello is equal to log input dot haskell dot string. Hello world means we are uh, putting some uh, input string basically. Yes. And so it if, is converting to the text format here. Text hello, text. World is, hello world is a string of haskell. Okay, it is converting by the bootstrap txt to a text format. Because it's already empty, so it is converted to a text format and store it the hello function. And what the hello function will do? It will print to the log. What is the log? Log info is a predefined function. function. It will print the hello world to the function. Because we are writing a Proctos programming, we are not writing Haskell programming. And Haskell is embedded inside the Proctos. Proctos. And the Proctos TX preload. The role is here that library replace the normal Haskell preload. Whatever the Haskell library is there, it will be replaced by the Plutus text. It's the most important part. Because that's why Plutus text can compile that program easily. Because it will go to the string format and Plutus text cannot understand what is the string format, so it will show an error. There is a doubt. No, 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 sir. No, sir. So this is the basis concept. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Just like we are, whatever we are doing the Java, we push the same some data to the core Java to a JSP or subject. Same also, we are trying to convert it. Same thing. Same thing that this is the process. We have to pass the Haskell library, preload library functions to a Plutus. Means Plutus will, Plutus TX will compile, will compile that proper. Haskell library convert the string type to a text type so that the compiler can understand that it is the text I have to execute. If you think that it's a string type, it can because Plutus does not have a string type, so it cannot show it. It's a compiling error. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So now one of the most important part of the program method, most most important part of the contract. Is always the end point. Whenever we have to do any operation, whenever we have to perform any operation, we have to define everything with the end point. If we will not define with the end point, then it will not execute the entire process. Okay. The blockchain always defines that we have to run that function. Okay. And the endpoint is mainly responsible. Endpoint is a function. It is here we are defining. But you can see that here I have defined the endpoint. Now you can see that this endpoint is basically defined in the blockchain. And here we have to create. This is the endpoint. We have created a function. 
and that will be going to execute and run that hello function to the blockchain. So that it will blockchain can understand yes, I have a program called as a hello world. So hello world can be understood by the blockchain. This is the most important one. That's why you have to write an endpoint. Okay. Okay. So now we can see that same thing. Endpoint should have the same type. What? Contact schema and empty schema this. The hello function now copied to the endpoint. So endpoint now is defining that hello because here what happened? Hello is defining everything to a console. But uh, we need yes. to where in the console or in the blockchain? We need in a blockchain. Blockchain, yes. Yes. So if we need in a blockchain, so we have to send to a blockchain. So blockchain means we have to send it to the endpoint. Endpoint. So endpoint function is mostly important used to execute the hello function and that will be executed in the blockchain. The hello function will be executed in the blockchain. And that's why this is the way we have to write the code. And here what that the endpoint of uh, here uh, you can see the function is there. I'm writing the dummy means whenever it is going to create any point, any blockchain point, it will name as a dummy. So whenever I'm going to execute it, you can see that it is written as a dummy. Okay. Now here dummy, dummy schema type, the type you are defining here, define the smart contract state. Finally, it exposes endpoint to the blocks. This is the most important. Until and unless we have to end the schema, dummy schema, so it will not go into defining the blockchain. So this is the program, how it is going to execute. So now I'm going to execute the program. Everything now can see that same program is written here. Now here, this is the playground. Okay. okay. So now there's a contract to the playground. So here what happened? Whenever I'm going to compile it, it will compile the program. Mm -hmm. After a successful compilation, then you'll go to the simulate. Now, okay. compact successfully. Now we can see here compilation. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now we can see here. I am changing some points here. Endpoints. Endpoints. Successful. Yeah. Now question arises. I have changed the endpoint to ENP, but what is this ENP? This is a function. Function. Now you can see here. Here I'm going to change it. Endpoint. Okay. Hmm. Now you see that error. What my point? Mm -hmm. So a, this a, endpoint imported from Pluto's contract. This is the is a, defined Pluto's contract. And that is a constructor. Because Though it is a, because in the first class we have known that it is a okay. functional language, a scale. But we can also write the constructor programming, we can also write the class programming inside A because polymorphism is also supported by the scale. We have in the first class we have already disturbed. So that's why this is written in the production. Number. This is the endpoint we have to define. Remember. Any mistake will be there, it will show error. But here, what you can see that? Compilation successfully. Now you can see that. Okay. Now we have to simulate it. Now you can see that. What is written here? Dummy. Okay. So okay. pay to wallet, this is the predefined. That will be the predefined. Whenever you have to pay to the wallet, we have to click this one. But this is the dummy because we do not have any function here. Okay. So here now you can see that a wallet is created. Now you can see that in the simulator, what is written here? That's Hello. But I told you that everything is written in a console. Now you can see that. So before I'll explain this one. Just evaluate this one and we'll see the function. Okay. 
from the biggest long time error is there. Whenever I'm going to use here endpoints as a different name of endpoints, this function is defining as a runtime error. It is not a compile name error because it is also defined. Also defined, yes. Otherwise, how understand what is endpoints actually? Now we can see here. I'm not going to explain this one. What is this? Okay. Now just we go to the log part. Okay. Here this is a validate transaction. What is transaction? This transaction is based on the wallet. Because this wallet part I have not discussed to anyone previous classes, so I am not also going to explain this one. Okay. So whenever we will discuss about the wallet, we will discuss that one. Now you can see that we have created two wallet. That is wallet two, wallet three, and we have a ADA, that is a logless. We should know that 10 ADA means approximately 8 0 of logless. Now you can see that 2, 4, 6, 8 means 10 ADA, the cost is approximately of 8 0 of a logless. So that we will discuss in the next class, also we will discuss. Because this part also I have not discussed to anyone. So this is the two wallet is there, wallet one, wallet two. So it is having what? All the output is there, all the transaction is constant. But now you can see that in the log file, what you can see here, the contract here written is that hello wall and hello wall. How many times it is printing? This is from endpoints. How many times it is printing? Two times, hello world, hello world. Two times, because, yes. Because there is two wallet is there. Wallet one and wallet two. There are two wallets are there. Now you can see that. There are two wallets, one, wallet one and wallet two. Okay. So number of wallet will be there. The number of transaction will be created. And according to the number of transaction will be created, the contrast instant will also create. And the raw junction, the name is one, hello world. I've written the function in word. The string name is hello world. Simply, I am reading the hello world. I am not reading anything here. So, this is the but way. So, no, sir, why, why two wallets created? Because, um, because that part I will go to explain in the transaction side. This is oh, the basic yeah. concept. Because in this process, I am not explaining all these things. Just okay. as, just giving you an idea that hello world is written in the console and everything okay. is defined in the console. And through the console log files, it will go to be to the blockchain. Where it will go to be write it. Okay. And here, what you can see the trace it here, all the slots, because uh, I am not explaining the what is the slot. So, whenever the contract is working, the contract instant is started. Because I told you that every time the contract instant will be started, and this part also previous class I have not discussed, because I am just, just telling you, the constant is created, and every where we can see that hello world is there, and no error is there. Slot one, which has a current result of a hello one, and it does not have any error. Second, that it is also showing a hello one, and it does not have errors. Because there is number of slots will be created. What is a slot? We will discuss in the part. This is the only way we have to execute the program and print the hello one. This is called hello one. And here I am going to change hello one to So with the evolute option, we can see the logs and uh, the tracer. Yes. Okay. Now you can see that this is string type. So what I changed the name? Welcome to Cardano Devices, sir. Here, dummy. I'm writing here. Okay. Compile. Simulate. Now you can see that what is written here. Cardano. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that part we will go to discuss because here, if there is no input here, 
So that is only by default two wallet is created. How many wallets are there? Two wallets. That's why we will discuss in the next class. Okay. So now you have to evaluate it. Now you can see here the number of wallets there. Now you can see here what is written here. Welcome to Carano Devices. Clear? Yes. But it is it is it is showing one time. It is because it wallet is there. Because I am not going to discuss about what is wallet wallet to wallet three. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. So wallet part wallet part is a different concept. Whenever I'm going to explain about the wallet, then I'll explain about the wallet. Just I'm showing you how the output is presented. Yeah, how to how to how to check the log. Okay, okay. Yes, yes. How to check the log. This is the one. Because if I tell this one, I also tell you what is wallet. This is a transaction ID is there. How transaction ID created. Then we have to go to explain everything. What is the meaning of our spend? Because we have already this, this, this log is coming spend. from wallet two, na Prasanna sir. Is a wallet two is showing in the log? Yes, yes, yes. That part we will go to discuss in the wallet part. Whenever okay, we go okay. to discuss about the testing part, then on crowdfunding, then in that part I will explain you how the slot is created, how transaction is done, what is spend item, what is on spend item that we have already discussed in the UFO model. Okay. UPSO model we have already discussed. That is spend yes, item yes. and on spend items. All the inputs are the spend items and all the outputs are the on spend items. We have already discussed. And through this, it is working as a what? Remember, that come, redeemer, and strip context. Three things is working identically. Okay. That is a UPSO model we have uh, previously have discussed. Uh, UPSO model. So previous class we have already discussed this one? Yes, 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 this one, yes. Yes, yes. On the basis of this, how touching that? This is all the inputs are spend items and all the outputs are on spend items. Spend so here items, the red yes. lines are output. Here the output is there, here, then input is there. This is a spend item. Because whenever anything is spent, that is called as an input. And whatever the result time, it is an on spend item. Here, the three part I have already discussed you that it is called as a data streamer. So this is the basic part. Previous classes we have already discussed. This is the contract. It's new to yes, so contract, streamer, data, context. Yes, yes. Yes, because UTS model I we have already discussed. But e extended, UTS means, yes. extended means this is based on contract. Okay, only the contract is written in the software and the redeemer, data, term, and context that also we have already discussed in the contract side. UPXO means contract skip with the data term is equal to EUPXO. In the previous process, we have already discussed. Okay, any doubt till now? No, okay, yes, sir. Okay, so. Previous process we have already discussed all these things. So just I have explained. So to I you. can I can use this one, na? Uh, yes, playground yes, dot Pluto yes, dot yes. playground dot Pluto dot ios development dot io where you can also here you can see that demo files are there. You can use the demo files and execute and compile and run the application. It will be best one because most important part is that in the online editor most of the programmings are not supported. So that's why we have to install the niche environment where we have to load the Python background in a local host. There we have to compile it, build it, then we have to execute the application because lots of programs is going to work in our machine also. We need a local host loading background. So in the next class, we are going to explain it, what is the Nixel and all these things, how to install it in your local machine. Okay, and the most important part that we require Ubuntu. It's a flexible operating system where we can easily install all the mix. Windows is not till now. Kadano 
till now not defined that we will most uh, flexible is window define that ubuntu is the flexible linux version is flexible or you can use your mac os where you okay. can do it but till now we have only working on ubuntu we have not done anything mac os okay so uh, prashant sir what is the extension for this plutus file which one extension means uh, when the when you compiling the file after compilation it is uh, the uh, whatever the program written in the haskell or uh, the language it is converting to the plutus core core uh, la language part na yes so uh, means the, uh, after compilation the java, dot java file it become the dot class file like this uh, yes. yes 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 actually in the haskell can you say that what is the extension of haskell hx what what i think hs yes hs yes yeah. hs means what this is based on haskell haskell yes okay. so this is based on smart contract okay okay so whenever they going to uh, create the putos uh, file okay. so the smart contract actually do this application okay. so man so, means i man so when man whenever i uh, write any application uh, if we Uh, access the my smart contract from the uh, browser means any application then then uh, we have to write the smart contract file and uh, there 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 should be some extension of this file na yeah yeah actually extension means what everything is written in the hello hello yes yes yeah. actually everything is written in the smart contract we have to write everything in the smart contract and we have to build it because uh -huh. using the build command we have to build it okay uh -huh. after build it it will be executed in the blockchain blockchain yes okay so so when we write the smart contract it will automatically uh, build build in the blockchain because the important block. part is that the we need a platform where we have to Uh, develop this application and the platform is it itself is called as a plutus playground playground uh, yes yes this is the so where we have to playground write. is playground is responsible for compiling and uh, uh, running uh, in the blockchain yes 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 and second most important part is that whenever we are going to do any operation we know that it is a transaction based application and uh, yes. and it is based on the core language core language means basically it is used the haskell as well as the plutus core okay so that's why it is using this all the applications where we have to build it with the build application that is called kabal we have to prove uh, the kabal we have to build the application then we can repel the application to execute it this is the most important part okay Okay. Anything else, Rajendra? No, sir. Okay. Okay. So then we have to stop the. Okay. Okay. Uh... Okay. So this is, um, Mr. Sir. Hello. Hello, sir. Sir. So today class we have to overstep class. We are playing. Okay, sir. Okay. Thank you, Professor. Sir, good night. Good night, all. Night. All of us, good night. Thank you. All of you, good night. Bye. Bye.